Recently, I spent an afternoon with a man who makes it look easy with a futuristic spin on traditional farming. He's found a way to grow indoors and year round, all while giving back to our community. We've taken what I would call God's creation, the perfect growing situation. All we've done is remove the dirt. It's called vertical aeroponic farming, first created at the land exhibit at Epcot Center almost 20 years ago. We're taking minerals from soil, we're mixing them with water, and we're growing in air. There's a small pump, it pumps the water up to the top of the tower, rains back down through the tower, just waters the roots as it goes, but 80% of the time, the pump is off. So this is a great example right here. So if I pull this guy out, you'll notice that the root system is just growing down inside of the tower. There are 44 plants per tower in eight feet of space. In his 2,000 square foot greenhouse, 5,000 plants. You tell a farmer that in an acre of greenhouse, we could grow 250,000 plants. That's something that makes farmers wake up and, you know. So for us, that's about us helping other farmers diversifying what they're doing and an opportunity for them to grow. And on this type of farm, you can grow produce year round. If it's 32 degrees outside, but it's bright sunny, it's 70 to 75 degrees in here. He does need sunny days, which he can't control, but most other things, he can. This technology allows to grow in a much wider range of temperatures. And of course, we are indoors, so we're removing any weather issues like rain, storm, wind, and that kind of stuff. And he can grow all kinds of things. Is that arugula? That's arugula, yeah. yeah. And then romaine, baby romaine, romaine. Yeah. little bitty romaine, lavender, rosemary. <laughs> Smell it. Oh my word. Why not? This local fresh produce is in big demand. Greenhouse Tower supplies lettuce and herbs to six area restaurants, including the Harvest Grill. Everything that we get from this farm is still alive. You know, and it's not already cut and already decaying and already, you know, losing nutrients and so forth. Beyond restaurants, they service hospitals in Elkin and Mount Airy. And during COVID, they developed a relationship with a food closet in Sparta, which continues today. We at Solid Rock do everything that we can to provide as nutritious food as we can obtain. And a large part of that and a great help to that is Greenhouse Towers. They actually come down here on a Tuesday morning and they've got two huge coolers that we provided for them. They bring it down, we just fill it up with bags of lettuce and then that goes back to the food bank, people come and it's gone within three days. It is a beauty to behold. And the proof is in the pudding in that it is never denied or returned. It is always consumed and it is absolutely fabulous. It's kind of like having your own garden you pick from out back. It's that freshness and convenience that James thinks will help aeroponic farming become more common in the future. This could be in a parking lot, it could be attached to a restaurant, it could be on the roof of a building, it could be indoors using synthetic lighting. I mean, the hanging gardens of Babylon were hydroponics, but in the last like 30 years, hydroponics has come a long way. We're really the next generation.